Oh girl, it's Dr. Stu here at the beautiful Annick Gardens for MX 2024 press day. I'm going to start that one again because I didn't say any of it. Oh girl, it's Dr. Stu here at the beautiful Annick Gardens for the MX Drag 2024 press day. I'm here with last year's gorgeous winner, Monarchy. How are you doing, babe? I'm all right, thank you. How are you doing, darling? I'm stood next to you. I'm, yes. I'm doing well. Yes, can you smell doing my perfume? Well. Lynx Africa. <laughs> oh, I thought I recognised it. Old Spice on this armpit. Well, I mean, I look like Old Spice, so <laughs> fair enough. Nothing new there. How's life been since winning? Oh, it's been all right. You know, same old me, still here, still queer, and surviving and thriving. Yes, it's been great. I've been all over the northeast, and I know what you're thinking. Everyone cooks in bed. It is not that. I have been all around the northeast with a fabulous drag troupe called Testicle and the Dragettes. I am their DJ and host for their show. I'm also still running my events in Middlesbrough and DJing all over Teesside. And I've done a few things in Newcastle as well. Been up to London, been up to Blackpool. It's been fabulous. So she's been busy, basically. She's booked and blessed. She's been busy. Booked and blessed, dear. I mean, you were booked and blessed before, oh, and you just well. more booked uh, now. Yes, yes, oh. indeed. What's been the best thing you've done since winning then, like opportunity-wise? Um, I think, really, I mean, I was working with the girls before winning the competition, but becoming more part of the team and now permanent member of the show uh, has probably been, because the places that they've all taken me uh, has has, be, has been really good and, um, and having that voice across County Durham, which is an area that sometimes isn't seen on the surface as a diverse place. However, in my opinion, it's one of the best places in the earth of the North East um, and speaking to other like-minded people like myself and people who aren't as like-minded and educating them through laughter and um, my stunning wit. <laughs> I mean, stunning wit is what life's born on, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. If you haven't got stunning wit, you're not doing drag. You're not, honey, and if you're not wearing heels or lashes, you're not doing it either. I mean, you only put them on for the interview, let's I be honest. I did, I had my trainers, but that's a different, ma a different matter of fact. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not putting mine on either. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. We'll pretend. So, obviously, you're here as the winner this year, but we have a lot of finalists. We do. Any advice for the dolls? I think just have fun. That's my main bit of advice. And I know that Lavender said this as well earlier, and it sounds so generic to say that, but just really just enjoy yourself and enjoy every moment of being here. And I said this earlier on in Pebble's interview, that um, we're all here for the same thing and we all want to win. However, not all of us are going to win, but don't get upset about that. At the end of the day, you've raised money for two incredible charities and you're also um, being seen in Annick Gardens wearing your nice frocks and prancing around. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's better to go out with your head, head held high no matter the outcome than frown and rip your sash off like some other people have done in the past. <laughs> no no shade all tea, yeah? I mean, you get addressed like a drag queen in front of a beautiful fountain yeah. or a drag king, because obviously yeah. this year we have got the incredible Vic as well in the competition, yes. so it's nice to see it's very diverse, isn't yes. it? So what's going on with the rest of your year then? Where can we see you? Um, well, I've just seen Gloria Love and Bonnie Love walk past, actually. They stood behind the camera. They both owe me a fiver for the gas and lecky, but that's a different story. Will you give me it back? Um, but upcoming this year, I've got some uh, fabulous things. I've got another baby on the way. I've me got too. my twins at home. I've left them at home. Gas and lecky, because it's what they pay for. Hopefully, if I get another pair of twins, I'll call them Lambert and Butler. <laughs> and maybe if I get a fifth, I'll call him Marmaris, because hopefully the money I get from him once a week will get me there once a spring. However, I'm going to be working with the girls all summer long. We've got some fabulous shows coming up. Spending where it is in a couple of months if you still want to grab tickets we've also doing a couple of tours uh, and yeah running my event in Middlesbrough uh, lipstick alongside my best friend Leah Bride and Roberts which uh, you can follow me on the social medias at this is underscore monarchy and find more about that find out more about that brilliant and just before we go have you got any advice for our queer youth um, queer youth, right, oh, someone's pulling funny faces, it's an emotional topic. Um, do you know, as much as I laugh and as much as I um, carry on and be this person, I really struggled growing up gay. And I was talking about this this morning um, alongside, um, oh, sorry, alongside uh, Lavender and Tony, that it was really, really difficult for me during school. I think the best thing to do is just put your wall paint on I always say put on your high heel and your biggest lash but you can't always do that and I think these times that you're having now aren't going to last forever and you've got to realise that you might not have people who accept you in front of you but there's a world of acceptance literally right around the corner and you will find that just hang on and keep being you there's nothing wrong with you that you're not twisted you're not sick no matter what people tell you um, you're actually fabulous and you're a special person that's very adorable. I feel like you've just given me like a beautiful mum speech. Oh. 
feel accepted now. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I do. Well, thank you very much. It was nice Fabulous, to speak to you. Darling. I will see you soon. Mwah. 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 See you soon. See you Bye. soon.